Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about uploading your own characters into the Metaverse Studio. Metaverse supports a variety of different file formats and I'm going to show you uh, three of them that you can use to upload your own characters. I'm going to leave this QR code on the screen for a few seconds. Feel free to scan it on your mobile device so that you can see it for yourself. It's going to be a very simple experience uh, because we're simply demonstrating how to upload different types of characters. But again, feel free to, to take a look for yourself. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by creating a new experience. Now, as you can see here, we have our most basic uh, scene. It's our character scene. But before we get started, let's title this experience. So we'll call this character uploading example one. Okay, great. Now you'll notice in the character scene that there is a section here that says select character. And when you click on that, you're taken to the character menu. Now here we have all of the characters that are available in the Metaverse Studio and you can keep clicking load more and look through all of them. Um, I also recommend that you look through all of the different tags that we have here. For example, if you want to find an animal, we have tags for all different kinds of animals. And then the last way is using the search bar to look for characters. So if I type something like cat, you'll see all of the different cats that we have available in Metaverse. But this video is about uploading your own characters. And so in order to upload your own character, you're going to click on add new character. And so when you click on add new character, you'll be taken to this screen. Um, so I found three different images of an apple that we're going to be using. And so for the first one, we just have a standard image file. It's a .png file. And to upload the image, you're going to click in this box that says Upload Image. You can see here, I have my Apple PNG file right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open, and then we'll title this Apple PNG so that we know what it is. And you want to make sure that the type is 2D image and not 3D object. We're going to be uploading a 3D object in a second, but make sure that for this one, it's selected as 2D image. And we can go ahead and click create and use. And that's going to place that in the middle of our character scene. So let's put apple and then in parentheses dot PNG so that we know uh, what kind of image it is for this specific example. Now let's add a next button because we're going to be adding two more types of characters. Now when we click add new and add a new character scene, you'll notice that the same image uh, was uh, used as the character. And that's okay because we can change that later. In fact, we're going to change it in just a second, but first I have to make sure that my scenes are all linked up. So let's go ahead and change this character. Now I found a, a GIF of an apple that we're going to be using. And so we'll title this one apple, in parentheses we'll put uh, GIF so we know what kind of format it is. Now for GIF files, you are also going to want to make sure that this is selected to 2D image. Just like the first one, we're going to click on the upload image box and then we're going to upload this GIF of an apple that I found. All right, let's go ahead and click Create and Use. And that will place the Apple GIF as our character. So we'll title this one Apple. In parentheses, we'll put GIF. Let's add a button to transition to the next scene. And let's add a new character scene. And you'll notice again, it is using the same image as the previous scene. So let's transition to scene. And in this one, we're going to be uploading a 3D object. And so the first thing we're going to want to make sure we do is select the 3D object type. Now, as of now, Metaverse can only upload uh, .obj zips. And you'll notice that underneath it's actually changed a little bit. So you'll see it says upload 2D thumbnail and 3D asset URL. This is a zip file that contains all of the information for the 3D object. So when we upload our 3D asset zip, you'll choose the file, and then in the file, we'll upload that here. 
And then in addition to uploading uh, the .obj zip, we have to upload a 2D thumbnail that will represent the 3D object in the studio. Now, I have already taken a screenshot of my image, and that screenshot can be found right here. So this is sort of a preview of what the 3D image will look like. So when we press open, you'll see that that thumbnail is now uploaded, and uh, I'm going to type in Apple, and we'll put in here 3D.obj. Now then we're just going to click Create and Use, and now you'll see that the thumbnail is displayed here, um, and this will represent the 3D object. So let's put Apple 3 d dot obj and then a final button to end the experience so when we look at this on our phone it looks something like this and you'll be able to see all of the different uh, file types that we used so here is our apple which was a png image here is our gif of an apple and here is our 3D object of an apple. And that is how you upload different types of characters into the Metaverse Studio. Here is the QR code one more time so that you can see this for yourself. Go ahead and scan the code on your mobile device and you'll be able to see the experience. Uh, we hope you learned a lot watching this video and we'll see you next time.